Manhunt. He is covering a lot of ground. Um, he is armed and he is dangerous. A man with a gun preying on good Samaritans. Law officers hoping to catch him before he strikes again. We hope he makes a mistake and we're able to get him in custody. Along with Heather Unruh, Heather Holman. Heather Unruh's a few years ago. I'm Kevin Ogle. That's where we begin at 6. The crime spree stretching all the way from Oklahoma City to southeast Oklahoma. Yeah, that's right. This is a, a crazy story. Brent Skarkey is live where the first shooting happened. Brent, tell us more. Well, it's a criminal rampage that actually started here in Oklahoma City near Reno and Portland on Saturday morning. But now officials are hunting for Lee King in far southeast Oklahoma. He is covering a lot of ground. Um, he is armed and he is dangerous. OSBI officials talking about this man, Lee King. He's implicated in a carjacking and three shootings over the weekend. The crime spree started Saturday morning near Reno and Portland in Oklahoma City. When officers arrived, they located one victim with a gunshot wound to the leg. Reportedly, King was getting a ride from a woman he knew, but an argument started when King was asked to get out of the passenger seat. At which point he produced a handgun and for unknown reasons uh, shot our victim in the leg. King allegedly then got into the driver's seat and sped away, headed east in that woman's car. Um, at some point in time, we believe the vehicle ran out of gas. So That's when state agents say King was picked up by two people along I-40 in far eastern Oklahoma Saturday night. They took him to Vianne to get gas on the way back to that stolen car. Reportedly, another argument, and King then allegedly using his gun on the two Good Samaritans. At some point in time, they end up being shot. King then takes the gas, puts it into the stolen car, and drives south. Near Antlers, police attempt a routine traffic stop early Sunday morning. A short car chase begins, but... He's able to get out of the vehicle and flees into some densely wooded area. King is believed to be armed and dangerous and on foot. Officials say he may have connections in the Shreveport, Louisiana, or Houston, Texas area, and is thought to be headed south. They say take a look at the man from these surveillance pictures taken in Vianne. We hope he makes a mistake and we're able to get him in custody. Well, officials tell me both the two men from Vianne and the woman from here in Oklahoma City will survive the shootings. If you have any information on this case, you're asked to email or call the OSBI.